Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm back with another fall makeup tutorial. I did this very grungy, glam, smoky look that is very fall appropriate. It's giving me all of the fall feels. So I hope you guys like it. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. Please subscribe and let's get started. So I have a bunch of stuff from Vive Cosmetics. Um, that is Jamie Genevieve's makeup brand. Like I knew she came out with a brand, but I had never really like looked into it really. I went on the website and was just blown away by everything. And it just came in, I cannot wait. I'm pretty much using everything from almost every category. The only thing I didn't get was a cream eyeshadow stick, which I'm kind of bummed that I didn't because for the look that I wanna do today, that actually would have been perfect, but it's okay. I do also have a new foundation, mascara, liquid highlighter to use. So we're gonna be using a bunch of new products today, new brow products. I don't have a new primer to try today, but I am gonna be using the Rare Beauty Illuminating Face Primer. I've been using this lately and I really, really have been loving it. Mm, side note, I got the new Starbucks Apple Crisp Macchiato today. Got it yesterday too and whew, it is so good. I really love their caramel apple spice that they have at Starbucks, but it's very, very, very sweet. It's like, it's like an apple cider. This is like a regular coffee, just like a regular macchiato with just like the slightest hint of apple. It's so good, it's not too sweet, it's not too much. I don't really like overly sweet coffees or drinks or anything like that. They're just, I don't know, I'd rather have something sweet to eat, not so much to drink, but yeah, I got that yesterday and I had to get it today. It puts me in the fall mood. It's just, ugh, it's really good. I'm not really a pumpkin spice fan, but I've heard the pumpkin cold brew is really good. So let me know if I should try that. So maybe I'll get that next time and see. Moving on, I have a new foundation to try. This is the True Skin Serum Foundation from Ilia. I have the color Bowen SF4. I think that's the shade that I have. I'm gonna try out this foundation and use my IT Cosmetics brush. This did leak and get everywhere. Oh, that is weird. It's just like a stick. Okay, well, I'm just gonna put that on the back of my hand then. Probably gonna be way too much, but I'm breaking out like crazy all over my neck, chest, and my legs because the last like month I haven't been um, eating the best. I have a lot of like food sensitivities. So anytime I have something that my body just like doesn't like, my skin just rejects it. So I'm actually gonna bring this like all the way down to cover up my neck as well. This is very beautiful. Wow, this is really pretty. I wasn't really expecting it to be so full coverage, but it's nice, it's like a medium to full. And that color I thought was gonna be too dark because I am really fair right now. I don't have any spray tan on, but it's blending out really nicely. Okay, I'm bringing this all the way down my neck to make sure everything matches and kind of start to cover up the breakouts I have. That looks really, really nice. It gave a really good coverage without being too thick or cakey or heavy feeling or anything. It looks really natural. I really like the shade too. So the only thing that I don't like is just this packaging. Like it's just so messy. So like when I close this, it's just gonna slop all over. So that's, that kind of sucks. Other than that, like I really like the way that this looks so far. So I'm excited to see how this wears. <laughs> Right now I'm just trying to clean this up before it gets all over the place. Okay, I don't have a new concealer, but I do want to use the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the color light beige, right? Yeah, light beige. I think that this might be a little bit too light, but um, I'm gonna make it work. I might have to use some darker shades when I go cover up the rest of my breakouts, but oh yeah, that's a little bright. I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath concealer just to cover up the breakouts because I think that's gonna better match my skin tone. And I'm gonna bring in just a touch of this to darken that up just a little bit. I'm gonna blend this in with my Sigma F03 brush. That worked out pretty good. That matches really nicely. Okay, I'm quickly just going in and powdering my face. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. It's on where I get the most oily, and I'm also going to use it to set any of those pimples where I put a little bit of extra concealer on just so they're extra set in place. For bronzer, I have the Vive Modern Bronzer Bronzing Duo, and I got the medium. So it's medium one and medium two. It comes in a little package like this. You got two different colors of bronzer in here. So I'm gonna start with the lighter shade, start bronzing up with that. Ooh, dust off the excess. That is pigmented. I don't like buying bronzers that are kind of like lighter in tone. 
Um, I think technically for my skin tone, the light would probably be more what people would normally buy if they were my skin tone, but because I self tan a lot, I prefer to get the medium shades anyways. And then two, if I just go in with a light hand on something that's gonna be too dark for me, then I can make it work. But going the other way around doesn't really work. So if I had on like a major self tan right now and I had bought the lighter bronzer shades, I just feel like they wouldn't have worked, you know? So as long as I just go in with a light hand, I can get the darker ones to work nicely. And I think these tones are working really nicely on my skin. They're not too orangey, they're not too yellow, they're not too red. It's just, these are really nice and neutral. So it's working really, really nicely on my skin tone really pretty i'm still just using the lightest shade i also have a fall candle burning in here right now i wanted to put it back there but i didn't know if it was gonna be too close to all that like greenery that i put in that vase and i didn't want anything to catch on fire <laughs> so random but if you like candles in the background and stuff let me know it's been a long time since i've done that i used to always have a candle lit in the background of my videos i feel like that just like used to be the thing <laughs> in a way i kind of miss it because i feel like it kind of sets the vibe so let me know especially around this time of year with the fall cozies coming on i'm gonna go in with just a hint of the darker shade really tap off the excess and just layer it in this almost looks a little bit more like a contour color maybe i'll use that to contour oh that looks really nice i'm gonna go in with a different brush um, this is the smith 112 brush and i'm gonna take that darker shade and just lightly hit that with this smaller brush just in more precise areas to create more of a contour this does have a cooler tone to it than the lighter shade in the duo. So I feel like this is really gonna work nicely. Um, I've, I've been noticing that there's the trend of contouring is to take it like this. If you've watched my videos for years, I've been contouring like that for five years maybe, probably a little bit less than that, but I did a contour and highlight video years ago on how that can really like sculpt out the face and it is a more masculine way of contouring, but I prefer to contour like that. So if you wanna check that out, I'll link it right up here. But I think it's so funny that that's kind of like a new trend or something. That way of contouring has like been around for forever. It's almost like the fox eye trend. Like that's basically just like winged out makeup or cat eye, you know? Been around for forever. I'm gonna try this on my nose contour. I usually just use the NYX Three Steps to Sculpt palette for this, but I'm curious how this will work. So I'm going in with the darker shade in the duo. I'm just adding some powder to the sides just to brighten that back up. And then whatever's left over on my brush, I'm hitting it right here just to accentuate the contour. Just blend that out. I have two different highlighters to try today. I've got the Ilia Liquid Light Serum Highlight, and this is in the color Nova. I wanna do this first because it is a cream, and I do have the Vive Powder Highlight in, I don't know how to say this, B-I-J-O-U, Bijou Highlighter. It was the golden one, so I think I'm gonna start with the liquid one. Oh shit, why is this, why do they do this? I don't understand, am I doing this wrong? I'm gonna take a little bit of this on the back of my hand. A real techniques brush i'm going to take this here and pick it up and then lightly pop this on the cheekbones cupid's bow we'll do the nose okay that i'm not really a fan of i feel like kind of just blend it into nothing so i'm going to go into the vive highlighter here this is the more golden one i'm just going to pick this up on my brush and just go over that there we go connecting into the brow that is beautiful that's a really pretty color. I like that. It looks a lot like my skin tone just in a highlight form, which I like. So it's it's there, it's apparent, and it's beaming, but it's not like too crazy light for my complexion. And then for blush, I do have two here. So I've got the color Piazza, and then I also have Pesca. So this one's gonna be more peach. This one's more like warm brown raisiny kind of a color. Probably gonna mix these two together. I'm gonna start with this one first just because look how beautiful that is. That's gonna be gorgeous in an eyeshadow look. I might even add this to my eyes. And then this is the more peachy one. I'm gonna start with the darker shade on my Sigma F40, very lightly. And start working this, Whew. it's pigmented, very pigmented. Let me wipe that off. Come back over here. 
I like to work kind of like in a diagonal formation rather than like rounding out the cheeks because I like a more angular look. I like barely even touch that too. This is intense. I'm gonna go and do a little bit of the peachier color, a little bit lower. Whew. These are so, so pigmented. Oh, but the colors are beautiful. For my eyebrows, I really wanna try this new pomade from Benefit. I always use the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit in the shade number three, but um, I'm gonna use their pomade today. I haven't used a pomade in so long. So it looks like this. And then there's these like little ridges in here. I wonder if that's like for cleaning off your brush. They have this little brush here that I'm gonna use to do this. So I'm gonna pick up just a little bit. And then yeah, I think that's what that is. I think it's to wipe your brush, maybe. Okay, I'm just like starting on the bottom and slowly working my way upwards and then blending it out with the spoolie to make it look a little bit more natural. Okay, I feel like <laughs> it's taking a really long time to do. I wanna play with it more. I just don't have the patience right now to sit here and fill this in with um, the pomade. So I'm just gonna run over into the pencil here and just fill these bad boys in. Okay, I'm gonna go into the Rimmel Wonderful Brow. I haven't used this in so long. This is just one of those little tiny bristle brush things for uh, your brows. I'm gonna scrape off like all of the excess and do this so that my brow hairs fluff up a little. And then just go in and fluff up the brows with this a little bit and just push them straight up. Give a bushier look to my brows. Really loving this side. I think that looks really like, I like it. And with the look that I'm doing, I think it's really gonna look nice. So I'm gonna go into the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC and prime my eyeballs. I actually just placed an order for a bunch of new makeup from some different brands I've never tried. A bunch of drugstore stuff because I feel like there's been a lot of really good drugstore makeup that's coming out recently. So for this look today, I really wanna do like a very blown out, cool toned, dark and smoky look. Um, I've got the Vive eyeshadow palette. It looks like this. So I'm thinking pretty much all of those matte shades over here, this one, the delicious shade, like that's all kind of like what I'm thinking I want to use. And then I do have the blush that I could pop in there. And I do have my Makeup Geek palette here too, just in case I need some transition shades in between those or something darker, lighter, whatever. I watched this tutorial online and I wish I remember who did it and where I saw it, but they did like a cream base first, which is why I totally, <laughs> I should have bought the cream sticks from Vive, but I just wasn't thinking because I that's normally not something that I would do with my makeup, but I feel like for the look that I want to do today, it would totally work and make sense. So I grabbed this. This is the Ultra Matte Gel Eyeliner from Melt Cosmetics in the color Burnish. It's a very dark, berry kind of color. So I was actually thinking of possibly putting this on my lid, but now that I'm holding it up, I'm like, Ugh, I don't wanna like mess up the look. Okay, I'm just gonna try it. I'm scared. I'm gonna pick up the tiniest little bit and I'm gonna pop it right on the lash line. And I'm gonna take a clean brush and start buffing it out. I feel like that's gorgeous on its own, right? That's really pretty. Well, that turned out good. I'm excited about that. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing over on this eye. I'm staying really contained by it right now because I don't wanna bring the deepest, darkest parts of this liner all over. Just going right over it and diffusing it in this spot. And then once I've got the majority of it pretty much buffed in that area, then I can go more broad and start pulling it up into the rest of the look and over into the inner part of the lid and so on and so forth. But you want to stay really contained at first and then once you feel like you've really got that kind of like poofed out a little bit, then you can start dragging it in a more broad area. I'm going to take a little bit underneath as well, just whatever's left over on this brush, just a little bit and then go with the fluffy one and blend that out connecting it over here. So now that's the base for the eyeshadow. I actually, like, 
if I was in a pinch and had to do something super quick, I would totally do this and just leave it as is because I think that's a beautiful, quick, smoky eye with no eyeshadow. That's really cool. My biggest tip for that would be to use like the tiniest, teeniest little bit um, because you really don't need much. Now for shadows, I think I'm gonna take the color Buff, which is the shade right here, and I'm gonna buff it <laughs> into the crease. I'm just picking it up on this brush. This is a Smith 237. Bring this here in the crease very lightly, kind of warming that up just a little bit. I'm also going to bring that underneath the eye and connect it upwards on the outer part here. Give a very grungy sort of vibe. I love mixing warm and cool tone shades together. It's like my favorite thing. I'm going to add the tiniest tint of cozy just a little bit it is this like light pinky shade and it's going to tie that warmer color with the purpley shade bring this underneath too i'm bringing it pretty far out too because i want this to be pretty grungy so i'm bringing it like almost like into my temples with whatever's left over i'm now gonna grab the color delicious which is this like warmer brown shade. I'm gonna pick it up on my brush and I'm picking it up on the flat part or the belly of the brush, not right at the tip. Tap off the excess and I'm gonna lay it down right on my lid for a rich chocolatey, smoky lid. And then I'm just gonna work on blending that out. Now that the color is laid down, just working at those edges. On the other side of that brush, I'm gonna pick up Lava Rock, which is the more gray, purpley toned color. I'm gonna bring that right above it very lightly. Actually, don't do that, hold please. The opposite side that had the chocolate is now transferring up too high and that's not what I wanted. So I'm gonna take that first brush with whatever was on it and just kind of buff that really quick. So I'm not bringing this too high up. Let me get a clean brush for this instead. Going back into Lava Rock. I'm gonna bring that up a little bit higher to add some coolness. Going back into that buff shade and I'm gonna start blending this out. Adding some warmth right back into it, some more grunginess. Ooh, this looks like a black eye, I love it. <laughs> I think it's so funny, anytime I do these sort of tones, do like a crazy smoky eye, I'll get comments like, oh, that looks like a black eye, it looks like you got punched in the eye. It's like, that's the vibe. <laughs> I'm gonna bring whatever's left over on this brush down on the bottom lash line. I'm not going too full pigmented down here. I'm not like dipping back into the eyeshadow to bring it down just because I don't want it to be too crazy dark. This is just gonna give you a nice soft application of it. And then that first brush with the buff to go around. I'm gonna grab the color Glimmer I think I'm gonna mix it in with So Shy, but I am going to highlight the brow. And mixing the shimmery shade with the matte shade will give you a nice soft satin finish. And then going over with that first brush just to diffuse it so it's not like super, super bright. So I do want this to still be pretty dark and grungy. I kinda wanna add a little bit of this into here. Let's see what happens if I do. This is that blush. Added just a little bit of reddish to it. Just a hint, I feel like you probably wouldn't have been able to tell a difference if I did that and didn't even say anything, but just wanted to see what happened if I added that. You guys know I wanna do a nude waterline, but I'm not going to. I think I'm gonna add the burnish shade into my waterline, which I'm a little nervous about because uh, I feel like it might make my eyes water, so I might do just a black in my waterline. I'm gonna go in and curl my lashes. This is the rougher eyelash curler. And then for mascara, I really wanna try the Ilia mascara. This is the fullest volumizing mascara from them. This is what the tube looks like. And then the wand, ooh, looks like this. It's like really curved and fat and fluffy. So I'm gonna go in and apply a lot um, because the lashes I wanna use are actually half lashes. So I still want um, fullness with my mascara. So. I'm gonna go in and really apply this generously. Okay, for my lashes, I'm gonna use the Vive Half Lash in the style Vive HL1. So they look like this. Um, these were the other ones that I ordered. They're a little bit more dramatic, but 
Um, I'm gonna go with the more natural looking ones today. I don't know how I feel about this one. I feel like they, I need to cut them in half again. I think I'm gonna take them off and do a different lash. I don't know, I thought they looked gorgeous. Let me go look at my drawer, see what I got. I'm just highlighting my inner corner while these lashes are getting tacky. I did not like those half lashes that I put on. I feel like they looked really weird. I think what I need to do is actually cut them even shorter because I felt like they were long enough to be my regular lashes, but because they're designed to be half lashes, it gave that more like lifting effect on the lash itself. So I feel like I had it too far over then because then it just like made my eye look straight. It was really weird. So I'm gonna try them again another day. Um, with a different look. These I believe are the Here to Slay lashes from Velour, which I'm almost positive that you can't get these anymore. Just pop those on. Now I'm just gonna go in with some mascara to balance out the lashes. Um, this is just the MAC Extended Play Mascara. These are some intense top ones. So I just need a little bit of definition down here on the bottom. Eyes are done. I really, really love them. I think this is very, very fall appropriate, very smoky, grungy. <clears throat> goodness. And now for the lips, which is honestly what I was the most excited for, for this look, because these lipsticks are absolutely gorgeous and they're all perfect neutral nudes. So I think I'm going to swatch them on my hand so we can see what they look like. The packaging too is so beautiful. It reminds me of Tom Ford. Let me get it up close so you can see. The only difference between this one and Tom Ford is the texture of this. This has that sort of texture here where a Tom Ford lipstick is just more of like a lacquer. And Jamie Genevieve's are just a little bit smaller, just a little bit smaller. So first one is coming in hot. This one's actually the darkest one, I believe. Coming in hot. Vive, which I think this one is gonna be my favorite. This looks like the perfect nude for my skin tone. It's not too pink, not too peach, not too cool tone, not too warm. And then we've got Treasure, which I think I remember this is the lightest one that I got. This one seems like it's a little bit more peachy. So beautiful, I'm so excited. I got two of her lip liners. They look like this. This one here is Velvet Sands, right there. That's Velvet Sands. And then this one is Bark, which is a little bit darker. Looks like that. So I'm so excited to use these. So I'm gonna start with Velvet Sands first. I'm gonna take this and line my lips. And I kinda wanna do like a 90s kind of vibe, like very lip lined with a light center, just to give that very like 90s supermodel kind of vibe. And I really wanna overline my lips. So I'm gonna start at the Cupid's bow and go over it. And then connect to my natural outer corner here. And then I'm gonna lay this on its side and start blending it in. And then I'm gonna take Bark and go right over where I want it to be the darkest. So I'm gonna go right here, here, outer corners, lightly follow the rest. I'm just grabbing a brush and I'm gonna blend that in. For my lipstick, I think I'm gonna go in with Vive and then touch a little bit of treasure into it as well. And I'm gonna take this, here's a close up of what Vive looks like. I'm actually gonna take that on my brush and apply it really softly with the brush. I'm gonna add just a hint of treasure, which is the shade here, just to add a little bit of the peachiness. I'm gonna add a little bit of coming hot, why not? I, you don't have to use 500 lipsticks. You could honestly have just done one lip liner and been fine, but I'm just so excited to use these and I wanna just add this to the corners. And then last but not least, I wanna use the Desi Do Me Over Prep and Set Face Mist. I used this in my last video and I did get some spritz and I read the comments and you guys said it's more of a continuous mist. So let me try that because I think I was going and I think it should just go much better. Yeah, the last time I used this, I really, really loved it. I felt like it really made my makeup come together. It settled with my highlight so beautifully. I can't wait to use this with that Flower Beauty highlighter again because the concoction was just incredible. This is a close up of the look. I freaking love this. I just, mm. this is giving me fall vibes, obviously. It's very smoky. The only thing that didn't really like 
give it to me was the liquid highlighter everything else i can't wait to do this look again later on in the year as it gets even colder i feel like for a fall date night this would be really pretty i mean my goal for this was to do more cool tones um and it definitely went more neutral so i don't know if i'm going to title this a cool tone look i can do another one that is more cool but i kind of like that this is more just like neutral chocolatey goodness. Let me know what other fall looks you wanna see from me down below in the comment section. Let me know if you've tried the Apple Crisp Macchiato. Every year I do a pumpkin spice latte inspired makeup look and I'm definitely gonna do that again this year, but let me know if I should also do an Apple Crisp <laughs> Macchiato inspired tutorial. I hope you're having a great start to your fall <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.